Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasional series in YouTube. Looking at computer vision in MATLAB. And first of all, just to say, just on line one there, I got this off of homework, this solution from there. So just to give full credit, it's not my work. Now I have done various bits of it before. Most notably, I've had a go at it on line five there myself. And also I've used on uh, line two, in an old version of MATLAB, I did some IM transform with the old commands, but IM transform is all gone. So really by right, I should delete that, but just in case. So what's the problem? Well, we go back to the code in a minute, but if we just go out to there, we have this chap walking along here. And then if we go down a bit, the chap has reached the end of the uh, pavement. And we want to know uh, what's his miles per hour, how, how fast is he walking. And to do this, we need to make some orthophoto. So an orthophoto, if I just go up here, there's an orthophoto. You've taken it, an orthophoto, you, the camera lens is taken at 90 degrees to the ground. So you can see here that there's no uh, perspective or very little anyway displacement. there would be a little bit due to the IM warp function. You haven't got the the pixels completely right but basically the f camera is at 90 degrees so we're going to get the two of them at 90 degrees you can see that's the autophoto the one above there's the uh, original and there's the autophoto of it and when the autophotos are there there should be no perspective displacement of the pixels so I'm going to be switching between the published output and uh, the actual code here. So let's go back to the code here. So now what whoever set this up, man or woman, just again say from this website here, they went out and they measured by hand these points here. They measured by hand in pixels, you using pixel info or I am pixel info or something like that and they got our data cursor a number of options and they got the pixel locations there and then they also went out and they made this point here the origin that's zero zero and then they measured the distance of these control points here so there's the uh, image location and there's the actual x y in feet okay and the question on line 22 is how fast is the chap walking? On lines 24 to 39 are the commands that I've used, or the, not that I've used, but the, whoever set this up. And I've got to say, it's a while since I've done the computer vision. This one was new to me, I am ref 2 d I've come across the others, but anyway. So. so there we are. So let's start. So tick just starts the program going, you know, just to get, and then we clear all, close all, and CLC. So it clear all, clears all the variables, close all, and close any open windows, and CLC will clear the command window. We read in the image, and then we preload these points here because these were measured already. So that's the matrix P1. And here is for you. Once in MATLAB, a nice excuse to use a for next loop. And what that does is, if I just go out to here, that put the rectangle coordinates around each point. So you see there we're picking up P1. Uh, so the X was the P, you know, the P1. So we're working off uh, the f uh, first and second columns. And then we're using the rectangle and we're putting it minus four and minus four and eight, eight. So we're getting an edge color of red. And then we put in a bit of color there. Here's the world coordinates in feet in P2. And on line 73, we're making it just to make one pixel an inch for the moment. Now, what this line here, this is new to me as well because new version fit geo trans so we've got p1 and p2 there are the camera coordinates and the world coordinates and we said there's a projective transformation so that will give me 
to transform. Now, if you're in some other colleges, you'd have to do the homography by hand or you'd have to get the homography out. But Fitchio Trans just does it all for you and it's just a function. What we're doing here, the output image, we're just making a little bigger. You see we're going minus 150, 150 to the left, 150 to the right, 150 down and 150 up. Because when we want to get, just go down here, why do we want to do that? You can see here that there are sort of these V's formed and just so as we don't lose information, we've just uh, we're gone 150 this way, 150 that way, 150 up and 150 down. So just make sure what bit of informa image information we can store that we don't lose. I am ref 2 d or F2D, so if you look that up there, that link there, or if you Google, or Yahoo, or whatever it is, Steve, I am Ref2D, that will give you a good idea on what Ref2D does. So what we're doing here is, I am Ref2D, we're trying to get the, re the reference, the XY coordinates of one image to refer to the 2D of the other one. So obviously we're going to ref the 2D of the of the two photos so that they line up with each other. So I took here sorry, just having a problem with my mouse. So I am encapsulated so you're getting the relationship between the image and the world coordinates. And um ref two D and line ninety here that will be a struct and I don't have time to go into it but if you're doing it yourself you could just look at the struct here. So we're going to transform the first image so we're going to make an auto image so remember T is the geotrans T is got from here remember that's the homography transform and with the output V and then with the ref 2D is what's gone here so that's the the relationship between the the image and the world coordinates. Okay, then we read in the second lad. That's where he's moved on down the street, you know, a few feet. I am warp again. We get it again so that we get an auto photo, and then here by hand, our I am pixel info. You get the position of the feet is 178 and 1668. Then what we do here is on line 111 used Pythagoras and you get the distance in inches. That's there. So you've got the distance in the orthophoto. Just go back there one sec. There's you've got the distance from there in the first orthophoto to the distance in there in the second auto photo. So that'll give you that. Then you've got the one to convert the distance to feet, so there we, we just do it there. And oh sorry, we do it there and then we print it out on line 115. When we do all of that let's go back here a sec. Um we guess that he tr the he travelled at three point three Whatever, I could have formatted that to two decimal places, but whatever. But he went in five seconds. So, oh yeah, we know it's five seconds. Sorry, I forgot that. We know it's five seconds between the two. I forgot that at the beginning. There's five seconds between the first frame and the second time. Second frame, and then the program took 3.7267 seconds to run. Okay, so hope that helps. Thanks, bye.